we're going to look at one last type of market failure that you can have in financial markets. There are four main ones, which we've already talked about, asymmetric information, moral hazard, speculation and market bubbles, and externalities, and there are videos on each of those four. There's one last one, though, that I want to talk about, which is market rigging. This is where activity within the financial market, often within banks, for example, results in the market being fixed or set in a certain way, which actually harms other people, other participants in the market. It's at their expense. An example of this would be if you have insider trading. This means that somebody working within a business or somebody who knows about what's going on within a business, they might, for example, buy up shares in that business knowing that something is about to happen which is going to cause the share price to increase. They've taken advantage of their knowledge and this is considered to be market rigging. They're using their knowledge for their benefit. If everybody else knew about this information as well, they would also be buying the shares. So in fact, the people taking advantage of the insider trading wouldn't be able to take advantage of the fact that nobody else knows about it. They've got knowledge that nobody else has got. And this can also happen, for example, if banks collude on the rate of interest they charge for example, on loans. They can collude and get together so that they are all charging a similar rate of interest. And in this case, it will be consumers or firms that would be damaged by this because the market would no longer be competitive. They're rigging the market in that sense. Another thing that could happen is that people inside banks could collude to buy or sell shares or commodities or currencies for example so that they can control the price of that commodity or share or, or currency whatever it may be that they're buying or selling for example if lots of people decide together that they're going to buy a lot of a share this will cause demand for the share to go up and therefore they will have actually caused the share price to go up if they do it in sufficient numbers so this is the fourth type of market failure, market rigging.